Yo guys, what's going on? It's up here. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix high FPS clips importing into DaVinci Resolve and being really long and not scaling correctly. This can occur when you are using a higher FPS in your timeline. For an example, using a 600 FPS clip in a 24 FPS timeline or a 1000 FPS clip in a 60 FPS timeline, for example. But you can use any high FPS in a low timeline as long as you scale it correctly. So I'm going to be showing how to do that today. So if you go to file and then project settings you can see right here I'm using a 24 FPS timeline and I'm going to be downscaling a 1000 FPS clip to fit the speed as you can see right here this is the frame rate of the clip I'm going to be using so if I drag this clip into DaVinci as you can see it imports very long about a minute 30 and it should only be about two seconds and if I play it you can see the slow motion right here but that is not what we want and we want it to be the original length so how you fix that is by right clicking and then going to change clip speed and then right here this menu will automatically scale it down to the original value as long as you change the frame per second to the frames of the original video which you can check in the properties tab of your video so what you have to do is just double click it and then type in the frame number as you can see this one is a thousand i'm gonna click change and then as you can see right here there we go it is now correctly scaled to my 24 FPS timeline. And if I open it in Fusion, you can see all the frames are still here, even though it has been scaled down. So why would you do this? It's because this makes it very easy to retime and there is essentially no warp when you do this because there are so many frames in the actual video that there is no reason to actually interpolate it. And this way you don't have to convert it to a 20 FPS clip because if you did that, then you would of course start getting warp because you wouldn't have those frames. And make sure when you do this not to compound clip the video or else it will turn the frames into the frame number of your timeline. So if I click in my inspector the file, you can see right here, it says 24, but that is just because it has been scaled but as i said if you open fusion you can see all of the frames but if i compound clip this and then i open it in fusion now what happens is as you can see it's only the amount of frames as it was right here in the actual timeline but then if i uncompound clip it and then check the clip it still retains all those frames but it's the same length and the same playback so after you do this don't compound clip your clip or else it will basically lose anything that you're trying to keep. The frames will be converted and you won't have those frames to work with. So this will work as long as you set your timeline and you know your timeline resolution. So let's say 24, 48, 50, 60, and you have a high FPS clip that is higher than your timeline. So that could be a 600 FPS clip, a thousand FPS. Even if you want to scale 30 FPS clips down to 24, you can use this method as long as it's going down and it will automatically manage the speed of your clip to fit the scaling but if you want to adjust the scaling manually you can always hit ctrl r after doing this and then drag the handles out as you can see the number changes to either be much faster or i can drag this out even more and as you can see it's still slow motion and i can adjust it however i want and with this method of using a high fps clip like 600 or 1000 you do not need to change your retime scaling because there are so many frames to work with that there is no need to interpolate and create new frames and that's basically it if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe it would help me a ton and thanks for watching later